we're outside San Clemente Island right now. We're fishing aboard the Chief with our friend Chris Randall, and uh, we're on tuna. And we're so close to island, you think we'd be rock fishing today or fishing for calicos, but we're not. We're fishing for yellowfin, maybe some bluefin tuna. So stay tuned for this week's exciting episode of Sport Fishing. I'm Dan Hernandez and I live to fish. That's a nice vermilion right there. Yeah, this is what fishing's like. I have been fishing along the Pacific coast my entire life. Let me bring you in in the action and share with you some great fishing tips along the way. My clients and myself depend on quality tackle like the Magic Metal. Whether you're fishing offshore for bluefin, albacore, or yellowfin tuna, you've got to have a lure you can depend on, and the Magic Metal is it. For inshore species, I recommend the Magic Metal Light. For bonita, barracuda, bass, yellowtail, it's unbeatable. It comes in a variety of sizes and colors and has internal rattlers that actually help draw a strike. Magic Metal is the ones we depend on here on the Indian. Pick up one today at your local tackle store. This is Dan Hernandez, and for years you've been able to watch me on TV every week. And now you can book a private fishing charter with me. That's right, I'm doing private fishing charters for groups of four or less on my own boat, 31 foot Chris Craft, the Misueno 3. Let me teach you great techniques to become a better angler and help you have more fun on the water. During lobster season, I'm doing lobster trips too. So call today and book your trip, and I'll see you soon. Who's using Tough Coat Marine for their boat decks? The Navy, the Coast Guard, commercial boats, fishing boats, pontoon boats, aluminum boats, and center consoles. Tough Coat Marine is cooler on your feet, rubberized for comfort, super durable, hides flaws and cracks, offered in 20 popular colors. Do it yourself, make it look better, last super long, all for less. If you're gonna treat it tough, treat your deck with the world's number one rubberized non-skid, Tough Coat Marine. Available online or at these major retailers. Hi, this is Captain Chris Randall. We're here aboard the Chief. It's late September, and we're fishing yellowfin tuna right here close to San Clemente Island. We're in a gray bite right now, just getting started. As you can see, we've got several fish hooked up. Nice grade of fish, that 15 to 30 pound test. Pretty much all on live bait, a few on the iron. Beautiful flat calm weather. I'm excited. <laughs> we got a fish going on right now. Hopefully it's a, a yellowfin, but we're so close to many you would think it might be a rockfish but we're definitely tuna fishing here and this is where the bite's been you see the whole fleet around us everybody's fishing the same area really close to the island the yellowfin are hanging out here there's some a few bluefin mixed in and you never know a trip like this it could be a dorado some yellowtails in there too so i just threw out a sardine live sardine fly lined it in gray gray light we call it it was actually darker than this when i first hooked up but i got a fish on now I'm gonna have to hike to the short one. The fish is just running straight down. I'm just letting them get tired a little bit here. When I get a little bit of line off the rod tip, then I wind down. But he's not budging yet. It's a hard fight in sardines. Half of them he's pulling that hard. Yeah. Oh, he's on. He ran towards on, the boat. All right. Wow. I'm moving out of your way, Ron. All right. Here, watch out, guys. Don't jerk. Don't jerk. Don't jerk. Clemente tuna. <laughs> White fish. Nice fish. Clear the water in. Yeah. Clear the water in. Okay, you just gotta lay them out for Chris. Yeah, one more circle, Dan. Does not want to come up. Sure. 
Here's a yellowfin tuna I just got fishing with Chris Boy the Chief. We've been doing this together for over 20 oh, yeah. years. A long time. Way back when he was a deckhand on a boat, <laughs> back on the producer days. Yeah. And uh, it's just a little weird not having my buddy Larry with us today. I know. But uh, Chris and I have been doing this for a long time. And this is what we're doing. We're, you can see San Clemente Island right over my shoulder. Normally you don't catch tuna this close to an island like no. that here in Southern California. And normally when I'm fishing with Chris and we leave H&M Landing, we're headed south. Yeah. We pass Rosarita, we pass Ensenada. Not today, west. Not, not we today. West is best. Today we're <laughs> headed toward Los Angeles. Yeah. And here's a reward. Very nice fish. We're hoping to catch a bunch more of these, so stay tuned. All right, we're going to take a little break from the action right now, board the Chief with Chris, and we're going to go to the tackle box and give you a good look at the gear we're using for today's trip. Thanks a lot, man. Yep. Nice fish. This week in the Tackle Box, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what we're doing today. Fishing offshore, looking for tuna. There's both bluefin and yellowfin mixed in. So you will have to have good quality tackle. Have a good rod and reel. And you shouldn't have anything lighter than 30 pound. Most of tuna fishing we've been doing this season has been 40 and 50 pound. Nice quality fish. When you get offshore like this, these fish are more aggressive. They're not very line shy. They haven't seen a lot of lines. So you can fish that heavier line. 40 and 50 pound, get these tuna. Now we're getting them both on iron jigs and live bait, but when it comes to live bait, you have to make sure that you're using a good quality hook. And one of the hooks I've been using for years are the Mustad hooks. This is the 94151. It's a great hook. I like to use it in this bronze color. And what I like about it, it's a nice heavy metal rounded on there, and it works really good. I've seen lots of times on tuna trips, people using inferior hooks. You know, they spend hundreds of dollars to go on a one day or two day tuna trip but they spend nothing on their tackle. And Mustad hooks is great quality. You don't have to spend a lot of money on the product, but it's good quality hooks and the heavier metal, this particular hook. So you don't have to worry about it opening up on you or breaking on you. It's a good quality hook. Now spend a little bit of time at the bait tank looking for a good live bait. You want something that's swimming around, hard to catch with your hands. It doesn't matter if it's an anchovy or sardine, get one that doesn't have a red nose and you'll do really well. Now, as far as hook sizes, if you're fishing anchovies, you might need a size two, maybe even a size four, depending on how small the baits are. And sardines, you're gonna be using anywhere from one O's to five O's, so have a selection in there. You never know exactly what you're gonna need till you pull up to the bait receiver and see what's available. Don't worry about trying to match your hook size to the size of the fish you're gonna catch. Try to match it to the size of the bait you're using. You know, if you have little anchovies, you can't use a five or six O hook. And if you have big sardines, you don't want to use a size four hook. You really got to match those up together. You'll be more successful. Well, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. Straight out, straight out, straight out, straight out, straight out, straight out. Stands around, stands around, stands around, stands around. One more circle, up, 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 up. Free pull. Hold up, Jeff. Turn around here. Turn Rich. around. Turn around. Get, get over here. <laughs> Rich. Yeah. That's a light setup. Good man. quality yellowfin at San Clemente. Thank this you. is Rich Renoso. He fishes with us a lot in the past. And it's nice that he got permission to come out and fish with us today. <laughs> and he got rewarded with a nice tune. He's out fishing with his whole family. Well, his brother and his sister and his dad's out here with us today, too. But they've been with us at East Cape. They've been on a bunch of different trips before. That's awesome. It's a nice quality fish. You just need to. <laughs> pull a little bit faster, pull a little bit faster. Here's a list of some of our upcoming fishing trips, and all these will be filmed for television. So visit our website at sport-fishing.com to see our full schedule for 2015. Make sure you join us and be part of the action and be on my TV show. Make plans to join us this July as we head back south to the beautiful East Cape. We'll be staying at Hotel Buena Vista, run by the Valdez family. This is our annual trip. We go fish offshore for Dorado, Marlin, Tuna, Sailfish, and inshore you can go for those yellows and plenty of rooster fish. So make plans to join us. That's July 8th through the 12th down the beautiful East Cape. It's always a lot of fun. Come join me and I'll see you there.
There is good reason why Turner's Outdoorsman is the most trusted name in outdoor sports. At Turner's Outdoorsman, our staff knows the inventory from top to bottom. We go to great lengths to have a hands-on understanding of our equipment. We have a large inventory and we carry only the best names in outdoor sporting equipment. Get over to Turner. Get the gear you've always wanted. Here's a list of some of our upcoming fishing trips and all these will be filmed for television. So visit our website at sport-fishing.com to see our full schedule for 2015. Make sure you join us and be part of the action and be on my TV show. Down fast? Okay. Yeah. Nice and slow. Do it for me. Nice and slow. One, one crank. Exactly. Yeah, one crank at a time. So you're working that fish up into the boat. Start doing the circles when he's about dead, and then we'll stick him on the head. Find the plant. Come on down. Come on, keep coming down. Right here, doing a big circle. He's swimming in a big circle here, and when he starts coming back at you, you're gonna gain on him. Like right now, gain, 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 gain. Then you can come oh. around again. Right, yes! <laughs> there, yellowfin doing it for you, but hold on. Don't, don't, yeah, there you go. Is that okay? Good job. Thank you. Right here, give me one of these. Let's go. Right. We'll do that. There you go. Oh, okay. Short pump. Yeah. Nice. That's how you pull on it. Good work. Keep going. There is no tire. Tire does not exist. Keep going. Whoa! All right. What's your name, Donna? Donna, Lucky number 13. Lucky 13. Here we Island. are. Just casted a line out there and uh, got bit. I already see color. You see how close we are to the island, that point right there. We've got lots of calicos and yellowtails there in the past. And here comes my fish. He's coming up. There's deep color. There he is, right there. Think so. Yeah, oh boy. Skip Jack Tuna. Alright, there's <laughs> my my skip jack tuna. There he comes. Not what we're looking for. We want to catch yellowfin or bluefin. This is a skip jack, it's part of the tuna family. But in some of the Asian countries, this is the prize fish. They like to have this for sashimi. But another fish. Makes excellent poke. Yeah, they did come up pretty good. All right, we're gonna take a little break from the action. We're gonna go to the galley and show you how to cook up one of the tuna that we're catching today. This week in the galley, we're back in Seal Beach, California, the Walsh Wharf. The last time I was here was like 15 years ago to eat at this particular restaurant. And we've done shows in the past out of Seal Beach when they used to have Sport boats weren't out of the pier, but that's been a while too since that's happened. Standing next to me is Chef Christian. You've been kind enough to invite us down. Thanks, Chef. Thank you. And what is it you have in store for us today? So we have a uh, ahi tuna that we're going to throw on the grill and make a little salad for us. Cool. All right, let's get started. So it's the same with any other fish. You want to lather it with some uh, nice fat. This one we have uh, garlic butter. That's a great tip, especially working on a grill like this. Yes. And seasoning well too. So this is tuna, you don't want to overcook it, you want a nice sear, maybe 5-10 seconds on each side. That quick, really? 10 seconds on each side? On a grill this, this hot? Uh, that looks nice. One of the advantages of this restaurant here at Walsh Wharf in Seal Beach is they have this grill and it's got wood in it all the time, making the charcoal. It's oak wood you guys cook Yes, oak wood. Yeah, so it gives you that extra flavor. And what's nice about it, when the chef gets here, the guys already have it running. So for his lunch crowd, they start it up in the morning, 
and they run it until the end of the day. It's never going to cool down, so they're always going to have this beautiful look to the fish. It makes it nice and easy for the, the chef. Well, I won't say easy, but it makes it easier <laughs> having a nice hot grill. Yes, it does make everything easy. So uh, that's it. Fish is ready to go. I'm going to let it sit for a while, get all those juices to kind of go back together, mm -hmm. and then we're going to go slice it. Uh, and if somebody wanted a tuna that's you know, fully cooked, which I don't know why they would want that, no. you would leave it in there a lot longer. Exactly. But I would sear nicely and then set off to the side where it could cook off, not just completely burn it to right. the crisp. But this technique that we're doing here, we're just searing it because you want the center of the fish to be raw. Right, yes. And that's right. what we're going to use for the salad. Exactly. All right, cool. Well, what's the next step? We're going to assemble the salad for the, for the tuna. Okay. Here we go. We have our local greens. I made a nice uh, citrus vinaigrette, some orange juice, um, lemongrass, lime juice, and uh, grapefruit juice. So whenever you're doing a salad, you want to dress the bowl, not the salad. So that way you could toss it and lather it up with as much dressing as you want or as little dressing as you want. And keep the lettuce That's, to keep it shape a Exactly, bit that you don't you won't get a wilted salad and you know it's better for you. Cool. Our uh, watermelon radish and our plum radish. And our uh, ruby red grapefruit. Next, we're going to slice the fish. Mm, that looks good. And then we're going to finish it off with our uh, wasabi aioli. Slightly drizzle on the fish. Finish with some scallion grass. It's just the bottom parts of the scallions cut really thin. Here we have our finished product, the ahi tuna and the uh, citrus salad. Let's go get in there. Well, I know the salad part's gonna be good, but I'm dying to taste this fish. That is so good. It's good, right? Your sauce is really good too. This is great. And some of these ingredients, I've never seen the plum, uh, was it radish? Plum, plum radish, exactly. Yeah, yeah, I've never seen that before. It's pretty cool. Yeah, our uh, local farmers from uh, Santa Monica Farmer Market uh -huh. brought it to us, and uh, I just like to showcase it to the nice colors. Cool. If you've never been to Walsh Wharf, you got to come down here to Seal Beach. It's really nice, and it's nice to see the way the restaurant has changed. It still has the traditional stuff like the Walsh rice, and, and it's still all cooked on the oak okay. grill, but uh, some of the new flavors from today are all blended in. It's really nice. Thanks a lot, Chef. Have Thank a great you. time. Thank you. Well, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. Now, one of the most critical parts of catching fish, especially on a tuna trip, it really doesn't matter if you're calico bass fishing or rock fishing, but really, I guess on a tuna trip, real critical, you have a good lively bait. So you want to spend a little bit of time here at the bait receiver. Now, this is the bait tank, and this is um, where we get our bait, the bait wells. So you don't want to be reaching in here, the crew will get mad. But when you look at the bait here, you know, in this particular bait well, there isn't a lot of good baits. There's maybe one or two good baits. And the way you can tell if they're a good bait or not is how they're swimming. They're doing figure eights and they don't have any red marks on them. Here you see all these baits that are laying on their side. This one's dead. These ones are barely moving. You don't want a bait like that. You want one that's all green or hopefully has a little slimy back on them. So let's look through here and see all these ones with the red. This one, you know, that's terrible. You don't want to fish that. Just throw that in the water. So let's find a good bait here. And there's one right there. Swimming really good. Doesn't have any red marks on them. Looks really nice. And that's the bait I'm going to use. I'm just going to slightly just slide my hand underneath it, pick it up, pin it on. And now I just walk to the rail and go ahead and fish. 
A good day out on the water isn't just about the catch, but also the release. That's why Mustad created Demon Perfect Circle Hooks. Strong hooks featuring a modified point design with a 96 degree angle for sure lip or jaw hooking. And as the world's only proportionally correct circle hook range, the point and front angles and length and gap have the same proportions across all sizes for optimal effectiveness. New Demon Perfect Circle Hooks, endorsed by the Billfish Foundation. Mustad Ultra Point. Fish it responsibly. Make plans to join us this July as we head back south to the beautiful East Cape. We'll be staying at Hotel Buena Vista, run by the Valdez family. This is our annual trip. We go fish offshore for Dorado, Marlin, Tuna, Sailfish, and inshore you can go for those yellows and plenty of rooster fish. So make plans to join us. That's July 8th through the 12th down the beautiful East Cape. It's always a lot of fun. Come join me and I'll see you there. H&M Landing has been providing fishing trips for anglers for over 40 years. It doesn't matter what you want to fish for. San Diego's H&M Landing has a trip just for you. If it's rockfish you want or going offshore for tuna, you can do it all here at H&M Landing. H&M Landing is home to the finest fleet of sport fishing boats on the coast. Don't be left behind. Call and make a reservation to go fishing out of H&M Landing today. Fishy, fishy. Then and then this boat, baby. Catching them. Come this way, come this way. Rock up the rail. Luckily, this gentleman, what's your name? Lou. Lou? He got his fish in somehow with all the uh, snarls, and uh, he's a happy man. Yes, I am. All right, man. What's your number, <laughs> Lou? Number 17. <laughs> Really won't break the fish in. Doesn't get any better than this. <laughs> you know what would be better than this? Getting it yeah, on the boat. boat. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know that tuna have been known to swim as fast as 11 miles an hour, 28 miles an hour, or 47 miles an hour? That's right, 47 miles an hour. <laughs> Intimidated by the pink. This is the big one. This is Mr. Paul Hernandez, Dan's dad right here. Showing us how it's done. Good form. See how his rod tip's not coming above his head. There he goes, there he goes. Alright. Cool man, good guy. Good Thank you. Sanko Manny Tuna. Look at that. It's Dan Hernandez. Alright. Cool. All right. Thank you. Fish coming up now. Got him convinced that he's gonna come to the surface and he's gonna die. So just kind of keep pulling every time I get some Fresh one. get some line from Jerry's on. Just short pump him now, get him under the boat. Are you on a fish? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Keep going. Okay, here comes my fish. Here's color. Doesn't look any better than that. There we go. Here comes my fish. Another yellowfin tuna fishing here at San Clemente Island aboard the Chief. Nice quality fish. All right, we're going to take a little break from the action and we return. I'll be giving you this week's tip of the week. Woo! Okay, so this is what's left of my best friend, Larry Yoshida. 
and Larry and I fished a lot with Chris. Oh yeah. And uh, we, three of us had a lot of great memories together. So I couldn't think of a better place to bring them to the fishing with Chris. It's kind of an honor for me too. Yeah, his family wanted to yeah. take him fishing one last time. So here goes Larry. We'll miss you, Larry. Maybe he'll make a last minute bite for us. Early tea. Yep. Make plans to join me on June 11th. I'll be at the Save On Tackle Store in Santa Fe Springs talking all about inshore fishing and a lot about fishing hooks. So make plans to join me there. I'll see you June 11th at Save On Tackle. Now you can watch Sport Fishing with Dan Hernandez 24-7 on any device. You can watch it on your phone, on your tablet, your iPad, even on your computer at home or at the office. You can watch us 24-7 with a brand new app that we just launched. It costs you $4.99 a month and you can watch all our HD content. Just go to our website at sport-fishing.com, click on the banner ads and sign up today. And don't forget to watch us right here on your local station every week and sign up for the app today. This is Dan Hernandez, and for years you've been able to watch me on TV every week. And now you can book a private fishing charter with me. That's right, I'm doing private fishing charters for groups of four or less on my own boat, 31 foot Chris Graff, the Misueno 3. Let me teach you great techniques to become a better angler and help you have more fun on the water. During lobster season, I'm doing lobster trips too. So call today and book your trip, and I'll see you soon. The Daniel Hernandez Youth Foundation will be hosting its annual free kids fishing event at MacArthur Park. On Saturday, May 30th, everything's free for the kids. There'll be lots of fish to catch, so make plans to be there and I'll see you then. For this week's tip of the week, I want to talk to you a little bit about what happened today. You know, it was a little bit of picky bite, wasn't wide open action. We had about an hour there where the fish bit really good, but it was still picky. You had to downsize your line, downsize your hook, and that's how I caught my fish. Normally on a trip like this, I'd be fishing 30, 40 pound test line, but today I had to fish 25 pound fluorocarbon and 20 pound straight mono. Both of those worked for me really good today, and I did really well. Ended up with my limit of five fish. I got um, yellowfin tuna, got bonita, and even got a skipjack too, so it was a lot of fun. Well, I want to thank skipper Chris Randall. We've known Chris for many years, fished with him over 20 years, back on the producer, on the Indian when he owned it, and now here on the Chief. Him and his whole crew did a great job today. We had lots of fun fishing with them. If you've never fished aboard on the Chief or ever fished with Chris, make sure you book a trip with them. You have lots of fun. Well, I'm Dan Hernandez, hoping you enjoyed this week's episode of Sport Fishing, and I hope you join us again next week as we go looking for more of the best in sport fishing.